Hello, I'm Ben from Agile Home and Garden, and today, hopefully, we're going to be answering the question, does copper tape really stop slugs and snails? Now, we do actually sell copper tapes, one of the things that we stock at Agile Home and Garden, and I'm often asked if it actually works or how it actually works, and I don't actually know how it works. It's something that I've used for quite a long time, and I do swear by it, but doing the research for this video, I found a lot of conflicting information, a lot of people saying that it's grey, a lot of people saying that it's a load of rubbish, so we thought that we would put it to the test. Pretty simple test, really, pretty straightforward. We've got a bowl, and then I've just put some copper tape around the interior, and we're going to see if any slugs or snails can actually escape. Now, I've captured these slugs and snails from the garden, and they were all released after these tests, so no slugs or snails were harmed during the making of this program. So, for this first test, uh, we've just got a thin one inch band of copper, and then a slightly thicker two inch band of copper around the top. So immediately, you can see that the slugs are not impressed with the copper tape, and they turn away. So you can see this big one here, he's turning right away, that sort of large one. And I was impressed when I saw this. You can see the little one down to the uh, bottom right there. Uh, he's also trying to stretch his way over the top. And at the top there, we've got another little slug who's just turning away as well. So this is a good promising start. Uh, and yeah, I can tell that this copper, they really don't like traveling over it. Now we've got the uh, the larger snails, and this is where you know, things start to get a bit interesting. One of the snails clearly doesn't like it and he turns straight away, but the other one has figured out that he can just sort of stretch over the top. It's quite clear that these larger ones are a bit more resilient to it, so I sort of had to intervene with this one and put him back to stop him taking up residence in my kitchen. In the background you can see the little slugs are still not managing to get over the the one inch small band of copper tape, and at the bottom there's a, there's another one that hasn't. If you look to the right, we've got a large slug has managed to get over the one inch band and now he's getting over the two inch band and I have to push him straight back into the bowl to stop him escaping as well. It's as if they know that there is another side and they're sort of happy to endure whatever discomfort it's feeling on the copper. And then we get this absolute champion enduring the copper and making a bid for freedom, even carrying his friend on his back. Though, if he was headed for my tomatoes, I feel that I might feel slightly differently about it. So that's enough of test one. Let's go straight on to test two. So this time we've got a much, much thicker barrier. It doesn't look it here, but it's about four inches thick, this copper barrier. So let's see how they get on. Again, we can see that they're obviously deterred by the copper with this one at the top, and then they all survive the falling light. Well done, chaps. No squash slugs or snails. Try to ignore the big snail poo that is going to be there for the rest of that video. Sorry about that, guys. And then we've got this little guy at the bottom trying to overcome the copper, and it's not quite working for him. And, uh, and yeah, he falls right down. Oopsie-daisy. And now here comes the big snails again. Now it is clear that it's in discomfort, but these larger ones are definitely more resilient. Now this big snail at this point is completely on the copper, and it clearly doesn't like it. It's trying to stretch this way and that, trying to find a way over the copper, and fall. Bad luck, mate. Now you can still see the slugs and the snails trying to find a way around the copper, but I think this is about where I end it because at this point I've been watching slugs and snails for over an hour and I'd had enough. So it's time for them to go back to the garden and time for the kitchen to become a slug and snail free zone once again. So what's the verdict? Obviously this is not a scientific test, but it's clear to me that copper does deter slugs. Most of them were deterred by it and would try and find a way around, and when there wasn't a way around, the big ones would try to stretch over it or would even endure it to get over the top. It's quite clear that the big ones are definitely more resilient to it, but it's also clear that a larger barrier does make a big difference. Obviously, a bigger barrier is better, although even a small barrier may help repel small slugs and snails, as we saw from just that one inch band. Is it 100% effective? Probably not. Even with the larger barriers of four inches or even more, a particularly large slug or snail or a particularly determined one could probably cross the barrier. But even so, it probably would repel a great many other slugs and snails. I think that having a copper barrier is definitely better than not having one at all.
as I said before, we do sell copper tape at Agile Home and Garden, and I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to support our little business. Anyway, I had a lot of fun filming slugs in my kitchen today. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben. Happy gardening!